hello guys welcome once again in the last video i have shown you how you can uh, download and install code blocks ide to develop your c++ programs and i have also shown you how to create your first c++ program and uh, you have seen that code blocks has automatically generated this code for us okay now in this video i will explain what this code does so line by line i will explain what is the meaning of uh, each and every line of this code so you will be able to understand what is what and why it is important to write this lines of code so we will start with, with the first line the first line starts with this hash include and it includes this file. So this hash include in C++ is called a preprocessor directive and what it does is it include the predefined header file. So think this as a file which is already present in C++ and this file is included by writing hash include and whenever you write or whenever you want to include some file you include it in these greater than and less than sign like this okay so the first line means include a preprocessor directive so this is a preprocessor directive and this preprocessor directive include this file which is already present in your c++ program so this is by default okay and when you include this this will include the header file and what this header file will contain this header file will contain some function which will be useful for us to develop our code okay now we come to the next line so this line using a namespace standard says uh, c++ that we are going to use the standard library to uh, do our work for example this C out here belongs to the standard library. Okay. So, what these two line means is, first line is to include the file. Okay. And this line says, there is somewhere std class or std namespace in this file and in so include this namespace std from this file okay and we are going to use some function from this namespace which are present in this file to perform our code okay now in the next line this int main function is declared so every c++ program has one and only one main function and this main function tells c++ that here from here you need to start your program okay so the main is the main entry point of the C++ program to execute and if you see here there is int written before this main function so this int shows what kind of return it is expecting right so int main is a function and every function start with this curly bracket and end with this 
closing curly bracket okay so whenever you write a function start with this curly bracket and close with this curly bracket so c++ knows that this is a function and c++ always start with a main function right and what this int mean that it's expecting a integer to return so you can see here we are returning 0 which is an integer when our program is successfully compiled and run okay so 0 it is a default value for success so whenever you write 0 and your program reaches here that means C++ knows that the execution of your program is successful right that's why we are returning 0 and for now just take it as a convention that you need to return 0 at the very end of your main function and because we are returning an integer here this will be integer right and now we come to this line so what this line does is this line prints a string which is written after this greater than greater than sign okay so c out is present or c out is a function or a, an object in this io stream file and what is the function of the c out is to output whatever is written after this greater than greater than sign okay so this to greater than signs or symbol means or this greater than greater than symbol are called insertion operators okay so it this whatever you write after this in double quotes will be printed as an output output on your terminal when you run your program and once again you have this insertion operator and then you have this endl this endl means end line so this code tells and this is used with c out so if you write c out then only you can write endl okay so this line will or uh, this code will tell your uh, c out function that you need to change the line after you see this endl okay so once again i will compile my code i will go to build and i will click build and my program is built successfully right and now i will run my program and you can see hello world is written here okay and now for example i will just copy this code and paste it once again then you see what happens once again i will save my code and build it once again and once this is built i am going to write it so zero error zero warning i'll run my code and you can see there are there is hello world printed two times because i have written two times c out hello world endl now to show the use of this endl i'm going to exclude this endl from the first line okay and in the second line i will leave it as it is once again i will save my code and build the code once again zero error zero warning run it and now you see here without endl your line is not changed so hello world is proceeded by 
second hello world so that is the use of enbl and the line okay so that whatever you want to print in the next line you can write enbl and then it will print to the next line you can also change uh, line or you can also go to the next line by using some other function or some other code also which is like this so you can write slash n and slash n is read as a as one letter and it says the code to change the line so this means new line okay and this will also work in the same manner as this endl works so i will once again save it and i will build my program once again and first of all i will close this running program save build and when the build successful run it and you can see this slash n is also performing the same task as endl okay and now this program is running i want to show you some more uh, basic things when you start your programming one most important thing is the comments so whenever you write your program and generally when you write your program you should write some comments so that other user can understand your program so for example at the top of this line include which is a preprocessor i will give two slashes which will tell our code that do not perform whatever i write from after these two backslashes so whatever i write i can write program to show hello world and this line will not be executed by the code because this two slashes tell c++ not to perform this line okay so comment this line after two slashes is called comment and this comments are uh, you can use to explain your code to the other user whoever is reading your code this makes uh, your code readable okay so this is one way to write comment the other way is to write comment is you can uh, just write this star first of all start with this slash star and then once again the star and then once again this slash okay so whatever you write in between this slash star star slash is also be taken as not to execute okay so there are two ways to comment in your code one is slash slash as one and other is this slash star star slash okay so in this way you can make your code more readable so i hope you understood this basic functionality and basic description of this code in the next video i will show you some more codes so please stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now